Last Saturday was the kickoff of the Poinciana Park Community Garden in West Palm Beach. This community project is one of five approved by the city in its efforts to become more sustainable. Missy, talk to the stakeholders in the project. I'm sitting here with the garden coordinator. Her name is Ke Kelly Kohler, as well as Jonathan Burgess. He is the president of the Point Santa Park Association, as well as Father Halleck Martin, who is with the Holy Spirit Episcopal Church. What is the church's role in the community garden, Father? Um, the Holy Spirit owns the property that, that the garden is on, and we have gone into a partnership with the Neighborhood Association with the intent of, of creating a, a, a wonderful opportunity for us to grow and share and and to to not only have produce but to produce goodwill out of this whole project. And it looks as though there are already quite a few planters that have been established already. Six? We have six raised planters, uh, complete with irrigation, and plans for 82 more plots are underway, ranging from 32 square feet upwards to 100 square feet or greater. And Kelly, you're the garden coordinator. What exactly is that role? Um, through our church vestry, I was the person that was appointed to the position to try to get the community garden up and running. Uh, we started a committee with the, with the church, and we realized that we needed to involve the Poinciana Park Neighborhood Association to become partners with us. So that's when we, uh, during the summer months, we contacted Jonathan and, and the neighbors to see if they would be interested in assisting with us. We started with a grant from the Episcopal Charities, and they gave us $1,000, and that's what got us going financially. Seed money, excuse the pun. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and the collaborative effort with the community, obviously, is a wonderful thing. But how also are they going to benefit from the, the fruits, as it were, of your labor? A portion of the food will go right to the families that are growing and tending the garden plots. Another portion will get donated to needy families in the area, whether it's through food shelters or in the neighborhood or church members themselves. So who gets first dibs on being able to put a raised bed over there? Is it the church members? Is it the members of Point Santa Park? Is, and is it paid for by them or is it free? How does it work? Well, there's two ways a person that's interested in gardening on this site can go about it and they can either rent the space mm -hmm. and an equal portion of the ultimate project will go between the neighborhood and the church. And if for families that cannot afford to rent the space, if they commit a certain amount of volunteer hours working in the garden, we'll be able to highlight a sponsor for them to have their own plot and grow their own produce. And I noticed in the beds with the peppers, there were marigolds around them, and that's for pest control. So what are some of the other strategies you're using to keep this as natural as possible? We're encouraging integrated pest management as our, our primary practice, and that really reduces the use of any sort of chemical treatments, any pesticides, fungicides, and we're trying to grow as organically as possible within each of the plots. Ultimately, there will be some guidelines that are provided to each of the gardeners telling them what's allowed and what's not. We encourage anyone interested in learning more about the project to visit our Neighborhood Association's website at Point Santa Park, WPB.com or the church's website at Holy Spirit, WPB.com. We appreciate your time. Jonathan Burgess, President of Point Santa Park Association. Kelly Kohler, the Garden Coordinator for the Point Santa Park Community Garden as well as Father Halleck Martin with Holy Spirit Episcopal Church, who was kind enough to donate the land and are going to be the uh, shepherds, I guess, of the garden itself. Don't forget, you can learn more about any story you hear on Radio Green Earth at our website, radiogreenearth.org.